Welcome to another edition of A Bowling Conversation with me, your boy, L-I-N-G, a.k.a. your favorite hidden character. And again, <laughs> we got my cousin D. Fair straight from Canada with some Canadian treats. I mean, who oh, almost said the wrong thing? <laughs> with, some tr with some Canadian cereal. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He brought something extra special for us, something you can't even get in the United States. I appreciate it, cuz. So without no doubt, no saying no doubt, no further no ado, y'all can't y'all can't even mess with my cousin Gear. Look at my cousin Gear, man. I'm looking at him in the film. This is, he fly. He fly. <laughs> Canadian Walmart T-shirt. Hey man, fly. <laughs> so without further ado, cuz brought in Tim Hortons. Apple fritter cereal. Y'all see, it got new, but this is the killer. You can tell it's, it's not fake when you flip it. This bad boy in what French? <laughs> Look at that. Cuz come, cuz come legit with it. Straight out of Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, cuz? Man. So y'all already know we do the dry test, but I got I got to roll with my cuz for a minute. He, he got to got pray for a little bit, but I miss him already, man. What's up? What, what is looking like that way? It's, it's good, man. It's nice, man. It's cooling off faster than it is here. So um. Oh, let me yeah, find out. They it's, balls it's cool. nice. Yeah, yeah. Really? It's starting to cool off, but yeah, man, that's my peace haven, man. So I can't wait to get back. Yeah. Have Have you uh been there in the fall season? Before? Yeah, last year, I man. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. You know, but like I said, it's uh, starting to cool off. So their winters is uh, a little different hit. from here. I mean, where Toronto is, it's not that much different, but they get a lot more snow. It gets colder. Okay. Um, but, you know, they got an infrastructure where they got so many trucks and salt trucks where they ready. You know, within a day's time, if it's two feet of snow, you know, you got a day and it's clear. Not like here. They shut up, shut, shut down everything here. They are. Right. Things keep moving, you know what I mean? Cause, like I said, they got the infrastructure, so they got trucks. They got they're ready, you know. So that's sweet. Hey, I'm I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. No, yeah, yeah, I wanna hit y'all balls. Anytime, anytime, man. It's coming up. It's like yeah, I know, house. I know. I got I got hurry up. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, you know I can't hold it up. Like I said, he got he got to do his prayer, y'all. I appreciate you coming, cause real quick. Yeah. First thing we do is the dry test. Oh man, the dry test. Y'all already know we trying to see if it's a, a snack. For a snack or something you can take with you or you know before you hit it with the milk uh it's a scale to uh one to five so you know we gonna find out what we we working with you know what i'm saying that's brung in the, the imports y'all better get a yeah, clue it in, <laughs> you know what I'm it in. hey, hey it's, gonna, yeah. it's gonna it's gonna be the, be called the the uh i gotta come up with a name for when you come Every time you come with the, the Canadian goodie series, he's gonna be he's gonna be a recurring host. Y'all better get a damn clue. But uh, I'm gonna let you do dry test first. I'll let you shake it in your hand first, cause you see, I'm, I appreciate you bringing that through, man. I'm excited because I had seen this before. You know what I'm saying? But I, I ain't think I was gonna get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm lying. You know what? I'm thinking of what I did end up having the uh, Tim Horton dots. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Remember, I don't I have the fritters. Where you had yeah. Tim Hortons, uh, yeah. I ain't. I ain't think about the fritter. Excuse me. I'm. I'm mm -hmm. coming up with stuff. Uh oh. It, it smelled like Apple Jacks almost, or something like that. You know what? You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's. Okay. Kind of sore. Let's see. That dude smell like. Him. That dude's kind of smell mm -hmm. Apple Jackets. I'm doing it. More crunchy. Yeah, it's definitely more crunchy. Um. Not like, I'm okay with that. That's apple. And it tastes different than Apple Jacks. Yeah. A little bit. It, a little it, bit more, it might more smell crunch. like it, but it ain't tasting like it. Crunch. Yeah. It's not too sweet. No, it's not. Tastes like apple. Like apple, like a little apple fritter without the glaze. Okay. Like on a box, you see a little glaze on it, but it don't taste glazy. It just tastes like a little. Little, little bread and apple. So, so, so is, so is the, so this one out of five as a the dry snack. test. Yeah, a snack. What you got? A four, I guess. I mean, like you know what's up you know there. What? I'm I can munch on that. Yep, cause I give it a four. That's that's different. Look, that. I'm still over here shaking, shaking the bottom. Yeah, I can munch on that. 
tasted. Yeah, that was good. Ugh, can you? Yeah, they known for not having like what is it? Oh, that extracurricular. Well, you know, well, it's not. It's no artificial. Most of the stuff is not artificially flavored. And no, it says no naturally flavored cereal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the kind of difference too, man. They kind of got good. different regulations than good old south of the border, North America. <laughs> they trying to kill us down here. <laughs> 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 they trying to kill us down here. Right? Man, that that's actually that's actually good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That drive test, that's an easy four. Yeah, I'll do the honors, man. I'll pull you in. Appreciate pull you it. Too, man. Now y'all know when uh when we decide to hit it with the milk, it turns to what we call the Saturday morning special. Yeah. And uh that's a scale of one to ten. You know, I always call it that. Cuz had nerd to dump it in old trusty for me. Y'all know this bowl ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> they might as well throw this in the casket. Some of the things throw in the casket. But, uh, man, that, that actually is good. That's good. That's, the that's, last that's cereal that we had was, uh, what did we rock uh, with? It was syrup. It was blueberry oh, pancake syrup. It was IHOP. IHOP. We had the it IHOP good. blueberry pancake syrup. Good, yes, it, yes, it was. That was that tasty. Was good. And see what y'all don't know, because I ain't bragged about it. And look, you good, know, good old coconut milk. Yeah, he's going coconut. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm vitamin D. You know what I'm saying? Vitamin D, good old Saturday morning. But for now on, like I said, when cuz come through, and cuz, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Y'all need to stay tuned because when cuz come through, there's always going to be some, it's going to be majority of cereals you can't get here in the United States. He already done locked it down for me. I ain't even took pictures or whatever, but uh, I will. I'm going to get some ice. I'm going to get some in trouble, bro. <laughs> you know, you got to declare stuff when you come across the border. <laughs> you did tell me that. Hey, he did. He did hit nah, me up, y'all. He was like, nah, cereal, man. Hey, I'm about man. to bring this through. I looked at that that picture <laughs> like, oh, that's a whole damn barn buster over here. Palestina. Whatever he said. Man. <laughs> There we go. So look at you looking. Yeah, this is that, that's it with the milk. Man. That little tire, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, this felt like Saturday morning. <laughs> the milk? It's good as hell. <laughs> I'm gonna take some butter. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Butter or something. Damn! I try to play that off. Butter, butter a little bit. I like it. Mmm. It even got good texture, y'all. Yeah, it got like some. What is some. Like a, a grit, like a. Ain't gritty, but like a. Not gritty, but. Uh, look, we both doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we both, like some extra crunch. Yeah, too, like. like Enemy. Mm. Yeah, me. And see, y'all, like I said, that box says Tim Hortons apple fritter naturally flavored. It don't say artificial flavor. So there's a big difference when you hear that. And taste it, it yeah, taste, you can taste it. This is good, y'all. Like, if y'all can get y'all hands on this cereal, I ain't even rated it yet. Yeah, I'm eating done. Like, real talk, I don't even know. I don't even want to rate it low. This feel like a kid. This feel like, like work eating cereal all over again. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, I'm not a cereal eater, but this is good. I might take the rest of this box with me. Try to do what you got to do. Nah. <laughs> but, bro, I truly sure appreciate this. I'm a. We doing the scale of. One to ten. Damn, bro. Damn. Let's go. I'm, I'm going easy nine. This is nine for me. What you going? I'm matching. You're matching? Because that's good. It's something. The reason why I didn't give the whole tin, because it's kind of like changed up from the apple kind of taste with that milk. Like you said, it kind of tastes, switched up to a buttery that's not nasty. You know what I'm saying? But it's good. It definitely got some extra. Like there's something. Caramelized, like something like, I don't know how to explain That's it. a hell of a good word right now, caramelized, but I don't know what it's caramelized with, because it ain't no apple. No. 
Like, um, That's why I can switch it up, y'all. So when we was crunching it with the dry test, it had a more apple taste. When you hit it with a Saturday morning special some milk, the apple is very faint. But another flavor kicks in that is not nasty. Like, it's definitely kind of like a donut shit. That's a word. Donut like taste. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm making up words all throughout this whole episode. I'm quite <laughs> sure I'm gonna hear this like this. He had no type of encyclopedia. You, you, you speaking Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> Do it come with that A talk and all that for real? Like, I ain't been to Canada in so long. You know, um, no offense, like, Canada, or at least Toronto, where, you know, mm -hmm. my wife said, and where we live at. Near Toronto is a lot of foreigners, so people from all over, over the world. Usually, you know, if you find a native Canadian, which is a Caucasian Canadian, usually, mm -hmm. they say A a lot, you know, or somebody's been there for a while, immigrant has been there for a while, they might pick up on it, so I, I don't really hear it all like that, because like I said, I, you know, I ain't out there anyway. Right. I go back and forth to the masjid, or, you know, me and my wife would go out to eat, take a walk, so, but, but A, you know, as far as in the household, no. No. I don't okay. hear it. Okay. Mm-mm. So basically what you say in Toronto is more of their New York melting pot. Oh, for sure. Like, for sure. compared, okay. It's a beautiful place because I ain't been I'm there long ago. It's like, I feel like a foreigner there too, you know, like, there's not a lot of Americans, like, not that you know, it's just like I said, it's a really brown city. It's, it's, it's you know, people, uh, they come there as immigrants and they, they keep their culture. Okay. There's so many restaurants. Everybody from every nationality in the walk of life can go get their own food. They got their traditions. They got their festivals. They, they You don't have to lose their culture like here. They come here, you run around, chase money all day. You forget about where you're from. There, they, you know, it's uh, it's just different, man, you know. It's just different. Yeah, see, I'm be there. See, I ain't been to Canada since you, you didn't need a passport. You just, you know, they check you, keep it moving. Well, okay. So the last time I traveled with my daughter. Mm-hmm. She don't have a passport, but she's under 18. So okay. I was like, you know, what's the problem with eight? But he told me, he was like, no, COVID, they were real strict with COVID. They're getting the shot and mm -hmm. having your passport. But, you know, it's, it just depends because they got, uh, they can kind of make the decision based upon who it is. Like when you go to the airport. Is. Yeah, yeah. But your he told me, he said, no, you actually don't need a passport. You just need your state ID if you're from the States. In your birth certificate, because what he said, he said the Amish, they come across their other side, and they don't even, it's against their religion to have a passport. They can cross the border without a passport all day, every day. So it's not, you know, it's to their own discretion. If you look, you know what I mean, you know, it just kind of like depends on who you get there, because it's different. It's a different country. Right. So, you know, if you make a fuss, then you're probably going to get sent back <laughs> across the yeah. border. You know yeah, what I mean? You come like you Perry Mason. Yeah, or yeah, you know, but yeah. But he did tell me that last time when I went with my daughter. No, it's not, you, you know, he said, not, nah, you really don't need your passport, but I would recommend you get it, you know, before you get all the way up there and, you know, and then they say, oh, no, we, we need your passport. I think it just depends, like I said, but that's what he told me. He said, no, you don't really need it. And he, he referred to the Amish. Because they don't need it, you know, they don't, you know, I, I don't know, if it's, but I think it's against their beliefs to to get a passport or travel, right. I, I don't know, but that's what he, he made the reference to them, he said, you know what, actually you don't need a passport, all you need is your state ID and birth certificate. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to come there, I want to come there for a good fall, I had to come there very soon, I don't said to let my passport expire, but, you know what I'm saying, I got the other trinkets. I got the birth certificate and everything on deck, so you know, definitely gonna um, come see. I like to come there in the fall. I don't think I want to come there with that snow. No, no, I ain't coming with the babushka and Tim's, but mm -hmm. I can come with the super Tim's now. Stop, but I'm good. Be there, got trapped over here for a little bit. I'm cool. That might be good for you. Oh, hell, <laughs> <laughs> that might be good for you. Y'all know this cereal good, but I just noticed cuz made him a whole nother bowl. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> and I finished mine. Me and old Trusty straight dusted it. Any other time, I don't always finish. There ain't nothing but some milk. You got milk there. Yeah. You gonna have some more? You want some more? Nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm I'm actually good to the point where I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tim Hortons. You know, uh, straight from from Canada, y'all. Like, 
Cuz, Cuz brung it through. He, 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 he like, hold on. Notice it says new. Like, <laughs> flip it around, you get the French. <laughs> you know what I'm oh, saying? Man. So, it don't get no better than, hey, Tim Hortons, y'all get a chance, try that cereal for sure. Like, that was, that was different. That was different, and, and I guess when you, you definitely always say, got to pay attention to the box, when it said naturally flavored, it didn't say artificially two flavored. Two for two, when I come over here, it's two for two, I love that last cereal, love this. Oh, yeah. And I'm not even a cereal eater. Yeah, he's not a cereal eater at yeah, all, it's, so. Uh, it was delicious. I, I'm most grateful, cuz, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, and I'm look, we even got a, a nice little uh, Canadian lesson, how to get over there, folks. Cuz said, hey, tell them your homage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just grow your beard, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> your female, just put your little bonnet on, you know what I'm saying? You'll be good, you know. They ain't going to, yeah. Because <laughs> I love y'all. ain't going to hold him up. He got some things to do. Man, you too, man. man. Like, <laughs> like, uh, till next time, baby. Till next time. <laughs> till next time, like we always say, y'all, we don't say goodbye. We always say to be continued. Like granddad say, so long. So long. So long. Appreciate y'all. Peace.